Hey there, folks. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you could make it because in today's episode, we are going to be making a Colombian chorizo. We're going to be making a sausage from Colombia. Now, can you believe that we have never made any charcuterie from Colombia? They've got absolutely amazing sausages over there. And today's recipe came to us by way of our Two Guys in a Cooler subreddit, from a Redditor named Powerful Watch Raska. I had a chance to look at the recipe and I absolutely loved it. Now, I am gonna warn you that if you're not familiar with Colombian chorizo, the style of preparation may freak some of you out, but don't worry, trust the process. Watch this video all the way to the very end so that you can see how it turns out. Before we begin, a quick word from our sponsor and another product giveaway. We wanna thank the sausage maker for sponsoring this series. And if you have yet to check out their website, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description box below. They have an updated website with lots of new products and they are a literal one-stop shop for your sausage making supplies. Incidentals, butchering tools, sausage making equipment like stuffers or grinders, they've got you covered. Be sure to check out the sausage maker at sausagemaker.com. Once again, link in the description box below. And now it's time for our product giveaway. This week, the sausage maker is going to be giving away a number 12 professional series grinder. Now this is the grinder that you've been watching me use in all the videos. This is an amazing grinder that takes care of business. It's got a strong motor that grinds the meat perfectly. How do you win this number 12 professional series grinder by the sausage maker? Very simple. First thing you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up. Second thing, let me know in the comment section below what your current grinder setup looks like. Are you using the good old fashioned knife? and you're going old school, or are you using your KitchenAid? I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. And third, most importantly, I'm gonna put a link to the registration form in the description box below. You're gonna have to click on that link, fill out the form to be registered to enter to win this drawing. The drawing is gonna be held in one week where one lucky winner will be chosen at random, and I hope that winner is you. Thanks a lot, Sausage Maker, for sponsoring this video and this incredible giveaway. Let's make the Colombian chorizo. This is a wild sausage. It will most certainly challenge how you feel about leaving pork out at room temperature, but don't fret. We're gonna go through this step by step so that you can feel confident. We're gonna start off with some culantro. This is the cousin to cilantro. So if you have cilantro, use that. Now I'm gonna give my culantro a good rinse. I'm actually gonna do it a couple times. It tends to be a little on the dirty side because it does grow ground level. And so I'm gonna rinse it out a few times and then we'll get right back to it. Basically what we're gonna be doing is chopping up the green onion top. So I'm gonna use the green onion bottoms for something completely different. We're gonna chop up the green onion tops and the cilantro or culantro or even the shadow bindi if you happen to live in the Caribbean and you're following my channel. You will find a recipe link in the description box below that has the exact amount of all these ingredients. So I'm just gonna place the green onions and the culantro in a container while we take a look at the meat. This is the 100% pork sausage, so we're going to try to do a 70% lean, 30% fat. However you want to achieve that is okay. Here we've got a little pork shoulder that's a touch on the lean side. That's why I'm adding pork fat. But like I said earlier, however you want to get there, it is totally okay. We're going to go ahead and just cut this up into small pieces, small enough to fit into my grinder, whether it is strips or cubes, the choice is yours. I am gonna take all this, put it in a container, and set it in the freezer for about 45 minutes. We want this partially frozen. Under 34 degrees Fahrenheit, I typically stay between 32 and 33. That's the perfect temperature for grinding. Let's get in the freezer and let's look at the spices. All right, we're gonna start off with a little salt. Salt is your friend when it comes to making sausages. We also have Instacure number one. We're gonna be adding a little cumin, or in Spanish, comino. Next, we've got paprika. You could do smoked paprika if you want. We've got black pepper, and then an optional ingredient is red pepper flakes for a little heat. Come back with just a little minced garlic, and like I said, recipe is in the description box below. There is one unique ingredient that's used in this particular sausage in Colombia called color. That's basically a flavorless type of food coloring that's given to just enhance the appearance of the food. I don't have that, and I wasn't entirely sure what it was, so I'm going to be using annatto, liquid annatto. Basically, this is the ingredient that's used to make cheddar cheese yellow. Otherwise, it would be white. So we're going to add a little bit in there and see what happens. That's what that's going to look like, folks. Our next and last ingredient is your favorite Latin American beer, 
get to pour and we're going to be adding about 10 percent all right now let's look at the plates that we're going to use this is going to be a coarsely ground sausage here in front of me we have our coarse plates starting with the 10 the 12 this one's the 20 and then of course we have the kidney spacer all of these produce a very nice coarse grind obviously the bigger the plate the bigger the grind i think we're gonna go let's see here what do you guys think which one would you pick that one all right there we go the number 12 plate it is let's go ahead and get our grinder set up and let's get to grinding There we go, guys. Beautiful coarse grind on that sausage. Also, another thing, if you want to just add all of your green onions and your cilantro, you can add that all at the same time and grind it all together. I didn't do that. Uh, let's go ahead and add the beer. We just added the spices. And right here, we're just going to mix everything up. What we're looking for is a well-incorporated sticky batter. That is it. And uh, we're not quite there yet, but I did not feel like it had enough annatto. So we're going to add more, give it a mix, and see what it looks like. I want this sausage to really pop. If you do any kind of Google search on the Colombian chorizo, it is absolutely beautiful. It's this very vibrant-looking sausage. And so that's what I'm going for and you know what? This is a little more like it. All right. I think I'm kind of loving the consistency. We've got a nice stickiness to it. Very well-defined fat particles and meat particles. Green sprinkled throughout the meat. It is sticky. Perfect. So here's what we're going to do now. Now that it's all mixed up quite well, we're going to give it a cover and put it in the refrigerator overnight. We want the sausage to cure before we move on to the next step. And the next step is wild. Trust me when I tell you, I don't think we've made a sausage quite like this on the show. Into the fridge it goes. Let's look at the sausage casing. All right, so we're going to be using 32, 35 millimeter hog casings from the sausage maker. You could go bigger, you could go smaller. I thought 32, 35 would be adequate. These casings have been flushed, rinsed, and now they're soaking in some water with a little baking soda in it, if you know, you know. Why don't you pop that into the refrigerator and let it hang out overnight because it's now the next day and we can proceed with this recipe. And I gotta tell you what, this smells really good. Let's put it into our five pound sausage stuffer from the sausage maker. We wanna make sure that we pack that meat in there nice and tight. We don't want a whole lot of air pockets. Uh, and that is especially true for this sausage. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. But once we slam that in there and punch it down with our fist, this is what it should look like. That looks so good. Let's get it on the base and get it into a hog casing. If your Colombian chorizo looks like this at this point, you are on the right track. Let's make some little sausage links. You can make these as big or as small as you want. Three times forward. Our next link is going to be three times towards us. So I'm going to pinch with my left hand and twist it three times towards me. And we're going to alternate the twists until we're done. This is what it should look like once finished. And with a sausage pricker or a little needle, go ahead and prick out any air pockets that you might see. I like to give the overall sausage a little prick, and you'll see why here in a second. I will help the casing adhere to it properly. Now, this next and final step might freak some of you out, but trust me when I tell you it's going to be okay. We need to let this sausage age, mature, ferment, whatever you want to call it. So place it in a closed room. Where my smoker is is actually a completely sealed off room. Basically, you want to keep it free from any kind of flies. We're going to let it hang there at room temperature for anywhere between 24 to 48 hours. I'm going to put a fan on it. It's going to help dry it out. That fan's going to be on it the entire time. And this time that this sausage is going to be hanging at room temperature, the meat is going to slowly age. It's going to ferment. And this is what it's going to look like after 48 hours. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You have officially made the Colombian chorizo. We're going to separate these links. Take a look at this link, though. I mean, doesn't that look amazing? Like camouflage or something like that. Okay, so at this point, you can freeze the links if you don't plan on eating them. You can refrigerate them for a few days. Or you can cook them up, which is what we're about to do. Now, how you cook this is your business. I'm not going to judge you for that. You could grill it. 
You could boil it. You could cook it sous vide. You could bake it. It's up to you. I'm going to take these and pop them on a cast iron grill and cook them on our stovetop. Just like that, ultra simple, not a problem. Let's go ahead and get that going. So when you're cooking on a cast iron skillet or any kind of skillet in your kitchen, especially sausages, preheat the cast iron skillet on about a medium and then just watch how your sausages are cooking. You don't want to cook your sausages too hot because you could render too much fat out, which you don't want to do. That'll leave your sausage dry and crumbly, but these look beautiful. We're cooking to an internal of 150 and we're good. All right, guys, today we're going to be trying the Colombian chorizo. Take a closer look at that. Look how beautiful that sausage is. Coarsely ground, beautifully defined fat and meat. A lot of things going on with this sausage flavor-wise. You've got the green onions, the cilantro. You've got the beer and that beautiful spice profile that's going to give it that Latin American flavor. Not to mention that maturation time. That's going to also dry the sausage out a little bit increase its flavor, give it a nice, bold, meaty flavor. Now, I know that the maturation step can seem a little frightening for those of you who are just getting started into the wide world of sausage making, but trust me when I tell you, if your meat is fresh, and I'm talking freshly slaughtered and butchered, and your equipment and your workstation is clean, you don't have anything to worry about. Let's go ahead and give this a bite, see how we did. This sausage is wild. For starters, the texture is incredible. If you're into a coarsely ground sausage where you're getting a definitive bite of pork chunks and fat chunks, this sausage is right up your alley. The sausage is ultra juicy. It's got a tender, nice, snappy bite to it. But all of that is eclipsed by the extraordinary flavor that this Colombian chorizo is bringing to the party. It's fresh. It's authentic. It's got this amazing Latin American quality to it and I hope you get a chance to make it. If you have any questions on how to make this Colombian chorizo, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a great big thumbs up. And don't forget in today's episode, the sausage maker is giving away a number 12 Pro Series grinder. That's the grinder that you've been seeing in all of these videos here on Celebrate Sausage Season 4. It's not too late to enter. If you miss the details on how to get registered, head back over to the beginning of the video. You'll catch all the details there, and I hope you win. If you are new to this channel and you like this kind of content, smash that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. Tomorrow, we've got an absolutely amazing sausage lined up for you. I don't want to ruin the surprise, so you're going to have to tune in tomorrow. Same same time, same place. Thanks a lot for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.